What's up guys and gals, your host with the most, Griever as always, bringing you guys the latest Jujutsu Kaisen chapter 196 chapter review. Let's get on with it because I really, really, I like this chapter. I said it, I like this chapter. In fact, the last thing I said or one of the negative things I said about chapter 195 about not caring about Mr. Sumo I'm a Kappa guy with the Zoro sense of direction. Total mad respect going whoop up in this chapter. Now apparently, apparently there has been some negative, negative um, feedback from this chapter. I don't know why though. I really don't. I haven't read any of the negative feedback necessarily. I just heard there was negative feedback from, you know, here and there and everywhere. And I tried to figure it out on my own. So I reread the chapter. I went, still don't get it? Reread the chapter again. Still don't get it. So I've surmised that the negative people will always be negative, as in, uh, as Taylor Swift once said, haters gonna hate, 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 hate. And uh, I think that's part of the problem. I don't know. Apparently, I was an asshole when I hated the idea that Noya came back so easily. And so, like, it was shoehorned into us, and I really hated that. And everyone called and said that that was fucking stupid. And nobody listened to the review, and everyone just said I didn't know what I was talking about. And now, all of a sudden, people are being negative about this chapter, and I don't see the problem with this chapter. In fact, as I said, starting off with this chapter, the one thing that I didn't like about chapter 195, because I liked 195, is... This Kappa dude and this Kappa Sumo dude, instant mad respect. This dude is awesome. This dude went from, I don't give a shit about this new character, to, boom, you know what? I like this guy. Is he top five characters? No, not in one chapter, but I like this dude. And why do I like this dude? Well, when we open it up, of course, um, Maki assumed that this was going to be a simple domain. It, and I, so did I. It is not a simple domain. No, 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 no. Because... Mayo, who's the Kappa dude, but I like calling him the Kappa Sumo guy. So we're going to keep calling him Kappa Sumo guy. So Kappa Sumo guy lives and breathes Sumo. So his domain is based on Sumo. And I like the idea that he's like, do you like Sumo? Do you like Sumo? And this man just wants someone in the same vein. Like, he just wants someone to have a Sumo match with. And it's like, mad respect. This man just wants somebody to play with. This man wants a friend. This man just wants to test his might. Whatever way you want to look at it. You know, and I'm like, all right, all right, fair enough. Easy to understand. But then this is what I love. Because this, just like our main man from the last chapter going, cursed energy, seeing spirits. It's reminding me of old Bleach volumes. It's reminding me about how Chad beat the shit out of a hollow before he even knew he couldn't see it, he didn't know where it was coming, and he relied on the soul of a little boy inside of a parakeet to tell him how to fight this thing that he could not see, could not hear, and just, you know, and was this evil demon monster, and he was beating it out with a friggin' telephone pole. That's that dude from last chapter, and this guy, once again, just coming in here, right, just coming in here, and saying he just wants a pure sumo fight. So the simplicity that I like about this, doing the comparison from last chapter, is the whole fucked cursed energy. Fuck your abilities. Fuck your bullshit. This domain would even beat the infinity of Gojo. At least that's what, from what I understand, I believe it in a, now it's not explicitly stated this is how it works, but from what I understand, reading the text is that the domain is a pure sumo fight in order to eliminate all elements of jujutsu now it doesn't say it says binding vows it doesn't say necessarily cursed energy or abilities it says in order to eliminate all elements of jujutsu binding vows so a little specific and maybe I'm wrong about that about maybe infinity would still work within this but I don't really think it would I'm not a hundred percent and sure you might be able to still put your own domain on that but by that argument a binding vow so I'm a little confused but I like to think I like to think in my own head can until somebody corrects me that or the viz translation comes out is that in this chapter this domain 
has a super huge drawback, which is the domain can only be completed once both sides agree. Do you like to sumo? Fight me in a sumo match. And Maki agrees. Don't you want to fight its sumo? All right. So that's the drawback of this domain, that he can't use his domain at all unless anybody agrees and what enemy would. So I like to think with such a huge drawback condition, which the enemy has to agree to for it to even work, I like to think that were anybody to agree to this, it nullifies everything. It nullifies Kenjaku, it nullifies Gojo, it nullifies Yuta, it nullifies Hakari, it nullifies everybody. Whoever you think are the top five nullifies all their abilities, nullifies every single one of them. And none of them can be used because you have to fight a sumo match in this domain. That's the way I'm taking it. I like that idea. If there's a workaround, that makes it less cool. Because I think the restriction of having to have your opponent agree to a sumo match, knowing it's a domain, I, I think that's restrictive enough. And only Maki is crazy enough to agree to it, which is fantastic. And of course, our Kappa Sumo guy is so thrilled by this. He's even in tears being like, really, this is amazing. And boom, the domain completes. It's amazing. And then boom. All right. So Maki is admitting that she's thinking too much and let her relax a bit. What I really like about this is that she's so focused on that whole, what am I not seeing? What am I seeing beyond the seeing and all that stuff? She's taking Katana's words to heart. And it's like, all right, all right. So let's see what this is. So she does go full force in a sumo match. So they are fighting a sumo match. Kappa Dude beats her, obviously, because he's such a big lover of sumo. Even with Maki's crazy physical strength and all that stuff, now that we know that she's got, she's got that Toji level body. Of course, there's the Toji comparison, which we'll get to. But she gets thrown down. And the Kappa guy goes, sumo is the best. However, I know you're way better than this. You're way stronger than this. The moment we started the match, I knew that you would beat me in a head-on-head -head clash. You should be throwing me around this ring. And then so instead of like being like, haha, I'll defeat you, he goes down. This is Santa goes. So tell me, what is it? What's got up here all fuzzy? You know, what you know, sort of the whole the original, like you've seen this in a lot of manga animes. So see, maybe this is why people didn't like the chapter, but it makes total sense. Because if you've seen it in almost every manga where they do the whole boop ah, what do you mean, Sensei? It's like you're thinking too much. You're thinking too much about that. Calm down. Stop thinking so hard about it. You can't change what can't be fixed. You can't do this, you can't do this. We they they have so many moments of of anime senseis doing the whole uh, sensei, why would you do that? Or whatever. We have that all the time. And here we're just having it done in a more mature fashion. And sometimes it's done even as mature or more subtly than this. But we have this moment in almost every manga. That's a fact. And I can't think of why people would dislike this. Because this dude just raises in the respect column because he's like, you know what? I love sumo and I want to sumo but if your heart's not in it, if you're thinking about a million different things right now, if you're preoccupied, then your heart's not in it. And I don't want to, I want to fight you when you're you. I want you to fight you when you're into sumo, let sumo. And that's all you care about. That's all you're thinking about, you know? And that, to me, raises this chapter up significantly because it's fantastic. I did not expect it coming, totally blindsided by it, and I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. And so then they start to do this thing. Like they talk about the fact that Maki didn't have a teacher. It's not that she was too prideful to get one or she refused one. It's just that she had never, you know, she always wanted to grow on her own strength because she thought the whole, the whole Zen and Clan thing. Though so they say it's not pride, but it's sort of pride in a way. It's that she, it's, it's, it's a very thin line there between her being too prideful to ask for help which you could argue is part of it. So I, I sort of disagree with part of that line where it's like, she wasn't too prideful to go get a teacher. Well, she kind of was in a roundabout kind of way because she didn't want to rely on anyone else. She never considered relying on anyone else because she was going to, the Zenin clan abandoned me. They think I'm trash and I'm going to do shit on my own merits. I'm going to prove to them on my own that I have what it takes. It's all me, 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 not help, help, help. 
right? So you could argue it was a sense of pride. But so then she clearly apparently tells him and that's when the the Kappa dude basically says, so you don't understand what the samurai meant, but I do. So let's stand up and let's sumo because I don't know another way to explain it to you. Now, Miss Content, which definitely go check out his reaction. His reaction is already up. Um, he showcased that this was all apparently happening, this conversation. It's a little hard to follow, but I, I found the gist of it. This big double spread and all these things happen. And I was sitting there going, okay, they're having multiple matches. This is all happening like they're, they're, they're sumoing, sumoing, sumoing. Like each one represents a different match or a different attack or blah, blah, blah. While they have this conversation. We don't get to see the whole conversation, but they're talking about the main points of the conversation while they continue to sumo. This is the case, but it seems like this is all supposed to be happening in real time in one match. This is happening as fast as we read. And as that's fine. I like the idea that this took multiple matches. They were, they were keep going through, get up again, let's do it again, all right, round, you know, 18, sumo, you know, and they were doing that. I like to think of it that way, and I still prefer my headcanon that that's the case. Pretty much, as we see them sweating and stuff like that, which once again, see, this is where I don't believe this is supposed to be one match, because they have these matches um, they were perfectly fine after uh, a couple exchanges. This exchange happens, if that's the case, in about 16 frames. So this happened in a matter of a minute. Both of them are sweating like crazy, like Prince of Tennis level sweating. So you're going to convince me that this all happened and then boom, so there was only one match? That's it? No. Even though it seems to flow that way, I don't think that's that's what we're meant to see by this representation. I think we're supposed to know that they had multiple matches and now they're sweating because he's been talking to her and talking to her and letting her know. It's like, it's all about freedom. Freedom is what it is. The samurai said, like you're acting like a caged bird and, and sort of compares it to this, you could smell the light or you could see the sound, that kind of idea of reaching that pinnacle of just letting it all go. Don't overthink it. You're thinking too much. There's a million things. It, it sort of reminds me of a couple of samurai stories, but the one I can think of, ironically, is a Tom Cruise movie, The Last Samurai. Fantastic. Even if you don't like Tom Cruise, I understand. Some people don't. But fantastic movie. Nobody's going to tell me that the man can't act, and nobody's going to tell me that that movie wasn't fucking great, because both of those things are true. And the fact of the matter is, in that movie, they were teaching Tom Cruise how to be a samurai, and he said, why he kept losing he said please forgive too many mind and he said too many mind and he said i mind of the sword mind of the people watching mind of the enemy your mind too many minds no mind and the idea was forget all the other things going on around forget the things in the past and the future forget about worrying about this and worrying about that basically don't basically trying to solve like if you're having too much anxiety and stress it's like let that all go it's difficult but forget all that for now live in the moment is sort of what they're saying they're saying live in the moment right now is the most important thing not five minutes ago not five minutes from now right now at this very second just think about this and nothing else that's what it is to live in the moment and be free and that's sort of what I took away from what they're saying. And then it was fantastic, apparently. And at that moment, then they sumoed again for, I, I like to believe it was multiple matches. Their final match, let's say it was 20 odd matches, whatever. Um, and or, or 50, I, I don't care. And then boom, slam, last page of the chapter, Maki feels amazing because she's finally figured it out. And she's figured out what is the difference between me and that man. Now, maybe this is what people didn't like. Maybe people didn't like the fact that all it took for Maki to apparently become Toji 2.0 was her mindset was wrong. And people, for some reason, don't like that. Maybe they're power scalers. I don't know. I don't have a problem with it. Because realistically, there's no reason that Toji's physical strength should be any greater than Maki's right now. Realistically speaking, you could argue experience, you could argue um, being older and stuff like that. Sure, so he might still be a little bit stronger, but Maki is in the same boat that Toji was. It, the parallels are there. The parallels have been there since the Maki massacre. So 
I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. And I like to think that at this point, she had the power. She didn't know, she didn't have the mindset of Toji yet. She didn't know what to do with that power, how to use that power properly the way Toji did. And this is the experience and the man being free, the freest man of the Zenin and all that stuff. So I really like all this. I like this chapter. I think it's fantastic. And I also like to think, because it appears to me, and once again, I'm not sure, but it appears that nobody has taken any real damage or changed from where they were um, since they went into this domain. And I mean, we don't know for certain because we only see some headshots, but it seems like nobody's worse for wear. So another thing about domain expansions that has never been explicitly stated, but and this is pure headcanon, guys. I like to think that perhaps some domains, and maybe this domain, where they are in a, it's confirmed, it's, it's a new space. It's a space created by the user. So it is a completely, entirely different space, right? That's a fact, like time and space. It's a outside it's a pocket dimension if you will and because it's pocket dimension time could work different i like to think in this particular case they had 20 30 matches time did work different and they had time maki that this didn't happen in the course of two minutes this this whole chapter did not happen in the course of real time two minutes i like to think the domain went on for much, much longer. I'm not going to, maybe an hour. I don't know. And in real time, it probably only felt like a couple minutes. Sort of like the difference between the real world and the Digimon world. Or, you know, the Dong guy, which once again, another comparison to Bleach here would be, which JJK is heavily influenced by, is the Dong guy working much different than Soul Society and the human world. The Dong guy, time passes much differently. So I like to think that this is a totally different space. The rules of time could work different, and that would explain actually quite a bit. And so, yeah, I know that's pure headcanon. That's just a theory. But I like to think that because I think it adds another element to this, is that she didn't just boom after one minute of, I'm going to sumo you and talk to you for two minutes, and boom, I'm a changed woman. That, I, I understand why people might not like that, or maybe the fast pacing. But it's not fast if you consider the fact that these domains are in their own little pocket dimensions, their own spaces. That's confirmed. That's a fact. It's its own space outside of the human world. So, of Earth. So, if that's the case, why is it a crazy leap to assume that time functions differently in some of them or all of them, faster or slower? It's never been stated, but it's never been denied either. So, you know, that works really, really well. And if we jump to the next chapter and we see that realistically Noya and Katana Samurai and uh, Kemo have literally no different, they haven't really moved from that spot and they seem to have no different battle damage to them, then I would argue that that is the case, you know? So anyways, um, that's the chapter and the chapter review, of course. Uh, this one went a little longer because I really wanted to state all the things that I love about the chapter because apparently they we got some negativity. Um... There's also a couple things that Miss Content wanted me to mention here. Miss being a good friend of mine, uh, definitely go check out his review. Uh, he said um, that uh, there are two parallels that he thought were really cool and that I might want to bring up in this review, so I'll just mention them right here, is that uh, Maki's mental awakening, as he puts it, is very similar to the awakening Yuji had upon meeting Toto. Uh, it, like the, the psychology of it is that, that we exist in this world with our entire body, our mind, our soul. It's so obvious most everyone takes that that for granted. And sort of the parallel, just seeing the nature and the world and stuff like that is similar to what Kappa brought up, uh, you know, to Maki, basically saying like, just look at the grandness, like we take for granted everything we do. And so, so it's, it's similar. I see what he was saying there. And then the Toji thing is, the big distinction between Maki and Toji was that Maki had all these things, save my, and I brought this up in my own and in my own review, is that having too much going on in her mind, you know, saving my and getting revenge on the Zen and, and, it, and all this stuff and all the things she has to do and things she regrets doing and all the anger she feels, the emotions are high, the mind is filled up to the brim and it's clouding her up. 
and prevented her from just focusing on herself, not just focusing on too many other things without even taking a minute to sit down and think about what do I want? What do I want to do? You know, that kind of idea. So, and uh, it said that Toji had no restrictions on himself, hence being the one who is free. Uh, I forget what chapter this is from, but it's the one, it's the Dagon fight where he comes back and he says that to bear the flesh of the one who is free to the one who left it all behind, Toji, the one who is, once again, free. So, very, very interesting parallels, very, very cool parallels in that regard. So thank you very much, Miss, for bringing those both up. Uh, I like the idea, and, and I think he's got made uh, two two pretty solid points. Um, but anyways, that's my review. Guys, I really love the chapter. So I'm, I'm curious to hear why you guys dislike the chapter, um, because pacing-wise, I have no problem with it, especially if you go with my headcanon. It's not fast-paced. It's paced incredibly well, where we don't have to do three chapters of the sumo to get the point across. It, it works. It works very well. And if people don't like the fact that Maki is now getting on that level of Toji, well, the Maki Massacre had enough parallels to tell us this man or this woman is Toji 2.0. Way back then, I don't know why you'd be pissed now. If you didn't see this coming, I, pff, you know, I don't know what to do with you. So, yeah, but that's the review. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe as always. Fourth and most importantly, however, we drink, but we drink responsibly. And we will see you guys back here next time. So definitely drink responsibly as I always do. We'll see you guys back next time for chapter 197 of Jujutsu Kaisen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.